Trainings YouTube performance reviews where we give you the technician's point of view. So as always for New Year's, it's become a tradition now. I think this is the third year running. I like to show you what I've picked up in my central vacuum over the year, which has an extremely big bag. Um, and this year I did a vacuum of the month where each month I vacuumed with a different vacuum, but I still managed to fill up the bag. Uh, one month I did use this dedicated for vacuum of the month, and then vacuum of the month ended, I want to say two months ago. So I've got what should be three months worth of dirt in there, but it's a little bit more. The reason it's a little bit more is I've been using my central vacuum as a shop vac manufacturing that I do out of my garage. Because of all that carbon fiber and fine things that I'm vacuuming up that most people will not vacuum up. about 70 inches of working vacuum there so as you can see because I use my central vac as a shop vac you can see there's a whole bunch of other fine dust that's going to get in there and kind of block those HEPA bags compared to normal use and I found before I had my uh, manufacturing endeavors in my shop I was not getting any loss of suction even when the bag was full so that's something that's interesting not familiar with what I'm doing uh, I am using the older style open top bags and the reason I use the older style open top bags is uh, my wife and I are rather irresponsible we'll leave things on the floor and accidentally suck them up so being able to reach in here and pick out something we accidentally sucked up is a good thing you don't want to be sucking up your wedding ring and getting it stuck in the vacuum forever but they do make closed top bags that are a lot easier to change before I take this out, I'm actually gonna tear a, with a new bag on a scale. We're gonna do, uh, do pounds. So I've got that scale tear with a new bag on it. So we're gonna get to measure this and I'm just gonna turn this on real quick, suck everything down. <laughs> quite heavy. Oh, trying not to rip this. So you see this is kind of like a tri-star in terms of how you change this. Oh my gosh, that is a big bag full of stuff. Um, so I'm just going to swivel the camera here. Hope you guys can see that. About seven and a half pounds worth of dirt out of my central vac. I'm going to just check the bag, vacuum some other things off.
All right, so you can see how clean this filter is on here, and it really wasn't dirty. That's after uh, three years of use. Now, the bag itself, the outer bag, because you have this, this lip that you pull out, um, that does seem to get dirty just around that. I vacuum that out. And this is a good example of why you should have more than one vacuum. You should have a, some sort of wet dry vacuum or a serv like a service vacuum for a variety of messy tasks. Because um, not everybody wants to use their central vacuum, especially at the price of these things. So this is arguably one of the most expensive vacuums you can buy. It's the strongest by far though, so that's why you, you know, you'd want it's also very convenient. Now, if I didn't have a vacuum, I guess I'd be wiping some of this stuff down with a rag, and that's definitely a solution for some folks on there. Um, I don't personally like to do that. Um, now, this rubber thing that I'm putting on, this mitigates a lot of the debris going around the bag, and it's, again, a very old-school thing. You don't need to have this. You don't need need to have a central vac that is, is hard to change. The bag is what I have, even though this is actually pretty simple as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I've got no complaints as years of a vacuum tech about doing this twice a year. Um, but, and you'll see as this bag fills up, the accordion features will go away and it will fill and flow. But I'm just making sure it's fluffed in there. So that is how we change the bag on my central vac. So let's see if we've increased the power at all. I really want to show you the working vacuum now that the bag's been changed. And part of the problem with testing in the closet directly in the unit is this doesn't make a very good seal. And it does at this outlet here. So we're going to test it. This outlet's the closest to the unit. see the small performance difference just changing the outlet and again that's just due to the seal of this tester this tester is meant for the new school outlets and MD uses a pretty old school outlet directly on the unit all right so we're gonna weigh this bag I didn't like the way I originally did it um, we're at about seven and a half pounds and give you an idea how heavy this damn bag is and big you can see it next to this Oric XL 21 where it kind of dwarfs now they call this a 12 gallon bag from MD and yes I believe it does hold 12 gallons of dust um, and you know after six months of manufacturing and vacuuming my house and other vacuums out and all sorts of things that I use my central vacuum for. Uh, it sure is full and needs to be changed. So I appreciate you joining me for this traditional end of year bag change. And as you can see, the vacuum room behind us has grown. In fact, it's getting overflown with machines. I have no idea where I'm gonna put the rest of the vacuums I own, uh, but it's pretty full. And I think I'm going to have to expand somewhere else soon. I'm definitely not getting rid of anything. Well, thanks for joining us for our uh, annual end of year special and central vacuum bag change. And I hope you've enjoyed the highlight of what I've brought you this year. I plan on bringing plenty of more content come 2020. We will be going to the VDTA with the help of our Patreon supporters. Now, if you're not familiar what Patreon is to us, Patreon is how you can support us in the best possible way. By giving five, ten dollars or more, I'm able to make videos, get video equipment, and travel uh, to shows to bring you this sort of stuff. And I've also done a few giveaways as well. So that's really important to be able to do that and bring that to you. Um, now, if you're not familiar with the Vacuum Dealer Trade Association, last year I flew out and for three days, I made 27 videos, so that's that's a really important thing to be able to do. Um, 
In terms of video scheduling, that is going to change in 2020. You are going to get one video per week, and then the Patreon supporters will get one video uh, per week or every other week, depending on how many Patreon supporters we have and how much time I have. So that's one way if you want to see more content from me, join Patreon as well. Now speaking of Patreon, we did do a giveaway, so definitely go check the Patreon site and our Instagram for the giveaway details. Uh, so again, thanks for joining us. Hit that uh, notification bell. Subscriptions don't mean a whole lot, unfortunately, these days, though I do appreciate all of you who have subscribed. We're at 3,900, almost 4,000 subscribers for the year. I'm hoping next year to get to 10,000 subscribers. The reason for that is not because I'm a numbers person or trying to win a popularity contest. It is that YouTube has certain features uh, that get unlocked at that number. Now, past that number doesn't really matter as far as I'm concerned. And because I'm more of a reference website, you're not going to see, uh, you know, huge numbers. I'm never going to see the huge subscriber numbers, and I'm okay with that. Um, because, you know, how often do people buy vacuums or need the advice that I'm giving on YouTube? Usually once or twice um, a year. So I understand that not everybody's going to subscribe. Uh, another great way you can help the channel, if you really like what we're doing, is repost it on Facebook or social media or Twitter or whatever, you, whatever your poison is. Repost it. That helps us out a whole lot. So again, thanks for joining us and have a wonderful new year.